51 days, 51 recipes, and this is day two. We're cooking our way through come fix you a plate food you'll actually cook. And today's recipe is cheesy crunchlet, is cheesy crunchy, today's recipe is cheesy crunchy broccoli chicken casserole. Please don't make me say it again. We're gonna go ahead and shred up eight ounces of sharp cheddar. If you don't like sharp cheddar, use whatever kind you want. Now we're putting some broccoli in the microwave. The book says two eight ounce bags of frozen broccoli florets. All I could find today was 12 ounce bags. Just cook it according to the package instructions. While that's cooking, we're gonna melt down a stick of butter. We're gonna get about a half a stick melting over like medium heat. Butter's fully melted, so we're gonna put in a few big spoonfuls of flour. We're making a roux, and we don't really need this to be dark because this is just a cheese sauce. And we just wanna cook this for a minute or two to get that raw flour taste off, and then we'll start adding our chicken stock. Put your heat down on low, and this is gonna thicken up real quick on you. Thin it out a little bit if you need to. Now we're gonna throw in a can of cream of mushroom soup. All right, we're all nice and smooth, and that's about our consistency. This cheddar we shredded up earlier, it's going in. This shouldn't take but just a second to melt down and incorporate into the sauce. That's looking good right there. Now, anytime I make a cheese sauce, I always put a little bit of dry ground mustard in. I put some white pepper in. Now we use salted butter and we've got cream of mushroom soup in there and that cheddar cheese. So it's not gonna take a whole lot more salt. Let's try this out. That's a damn good cheese sauce. If you wanted to add anything else to it, go for it. Into a bowl, we're gonna put the broccoli we just cooked, rotisserie chicken that I shredded up earlier, and our cheese sauce. I did save one piece of rotisserie chicken because you always gotta pay your taxes. There you go, babe. Now in a separate bowl, we're gonna crush up four sleeves of Ritz crackers. Sometimes I'll use that little wheelie cheese grater to actually grate these up. You just put a whole sleeve down in it and turn it. Um, but I'm not gonna wash it and dry it just to use it again. Two sticks of butter that I melted in the microwave. Mix them up real good, you want everything coated. Nine by 13 pan. Half the crackers in the bottom, spread them out. And now goes our filling. The rest of the crackers over the top. Now, if you don't want this many crackers, you could just leave the bottom part off. Now we're putting tin foil over it. The oven's on 350. We're gonna go in for about 15 or 20 minutes. Then we're gonna uncover it and go another 15 or 20 minutes. He's cheesy, he's crunchy, he's everything I want him to be. All right, y'all come fix you a plate of this, and tune in tomorrow, we're making chicken etouffee.